Hello, uh, let's do a actual me looking at the camera, the, the lights being on, a video about Orly Farms, uh, chapters 46 to 50, where, uh, again, we have uh, Miss Orm, uh, the, the uh, daughter-in-law of Sir Percival, uh, say like, no, we need to treat, we need to treat, um, Lady Mason as, uh, as a good, as a friend, uh, even if she's done something terrible. Uh, she has forged documents, uh, we need to support her. Uh, she's going to stand by her. Uh, not assist her in, in covering up anything or stuff like that, but, uh, also not shunning her, uh, abandoning her. Um, Sir Percival has definitely been knocked back a step. He is definitely, he seems like an older, older, older man now. He's got less of a step. Uh, he seems kind of, he's trying to kind of put us, uh, kind of, uh, keep, keep a stiff off of her lip, <laughs> I guess as it was, but he's like, oh, this is, this is not great. This is not great. Um, uh, Miss Furnival, uh, uh, being, has, has le decides, yep, that's it. I am leaving. I am leaving, uh, Mr. Fer Furnival. I, I can't stay here while he's apparently, uh, taken up with Lady Mason. Hasn't, but really kind of has in a way. Uh, so she, she does, she, she takes off. She takes lodging somewhere else, lets her husband know. Her husband's like, not, not angry. Just as like, yeah, here's 50 pounds. Uh, I think you're making a big deal of nothing and that you should come back. Uh, and that when you realize that, please do. <laughs> and it was like, oh, okay. And Miss Furnival's like, oh, is this basically how it's going to be? He's going to maintain me in lodging somewhere else while he gets to kind of uh, take up with this woman or others. She actually does pass by that woman and she's got it in her mind that she's going to go and have it out with her, that she's going to um, burst into the enemy camp as it was uh, and uh, declare herself, which... Um, would definitely be taking things to a next level. Um, we get a whole bunch with uh, with Felix Felix Graham uh, and uh, the the Miss Miss Staples, uh, Miss Miss Staples, the Miss Madeline Staples, uh, who you know it's Staple Staple, I think it is that you know it's like uh, she's really in love with him. Uh, we get the Percival the younger who is very much in love with with uh, Madeline as well but knows that he has no chance. Does go back talks to the mother who says like, "Well, never is a long time and I think you should just come back in a year's time and see what what where the lay of the land is. Maybe you'll maybe you'll still have a chance. Maybe you'll still have a chance." And he's like, oh, "I don't know if I will or not, but he he agrees to go away." Um, Madeline is very much in love with Felix Graham. Felix, uh, and the father's like, yeah, yeah, that would be fine. And they all know, they all know that she's, that she's in love, even though they think that it's a complete secret. And, you know, the father's like, oh yeah, yeah. And he kind of has a friendly conversation with Felix and Felix is like, oh God, if he knew he'd be so angry. And it's like, no, he's not. And I mean, a part of it is he's kind of like, well, I was probably in about the same situation as Felix was when I met you. It's like, oh no, you were much better, dear. You know, mother's got different ideas of wh where they were, um, now the judge, uh, is it this judge, uh, a judge comes to him and says like, here's a case for you to do. It's the Lady Mason versus uh, Joseph Mason case. Uh, and it's like, um, you know, and, but what if I find out that he's, that she is actually guilty? It's like, well, no, that's, that's not, that's not neither here nor there. Your, your duty is to, you know, fight for your client, which he's like, oh, I don't know about. He's the young idealistic lawyer, I guess, at this point, um, um, they're apparently not going to try her for fraud. They're going to try her for perjury, saying that she witnessed uh, a, the signing of a thing. Um, so there's definitely we're raising legal technicalities here that she might get off for not having perjury when actually she they should have charged her with forgery. Um, you know, I guess all this would be mute if she confessed. I have a feeling she's not going to confess. I feel that she's, even though she feels guilty as hell, she's she feels like she's doing this for her son. Her son, who is definitely showing himself to be kind of, well, kind of a blockhead, is a kind of a very honorable blockhead. Like, you know, he wants to fight for his mother because, you know, how dare someone sully my mother's good name, even though it turns out his mother doesn't actually have such a great name because she's done a really wrong thing uh, in to help her son, 
um, which, you know, I don't think would run, would, would go over too well for him. So yeah, this is a short little update. It's these five chapters. I think I got everything in and, uh, I can continue on. I'm going to try and this is, uh, December the 22nd and, uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of plunge, plunge on. I don't have too much. I have one audiobook, I guess, in the library, but I'm going to try and get a good, good hunk of this done, uh, this week. Um, so that by the 31st or whatever, I've finished at least reading it and then can maybe put out that final review, uh, in probably going to be in the new year. Cause you know, you know how these things go and I've got a couple of other reviews I have to actually get done first, which I'm not going to get done today. All right. More videos later.